Here is what happened on the latest edition of Morning Glory. We have the one and only Russell from Text and Talking. Oh, okay, folks. Did- oh. Rose is here as well. Hello, Rose, you right? Hi, everybody. I'm okay. As you're, you're, nice, um... you're, right now, your English lesson for today, Rose, is from uh, Russell, okay? We brought him especially to teach you how to speak English. Yes. We're going <laughs> to get you to speak English proper. Proper like what me and Barry do. Exactly, like what we do. We're going to give us an English lesson today. How's things at Text and Talk at the moment? You going well, well? Look, things are going well. Um, our new TEFL course starts on Monday the 1st of July. Right. So there's places left and yep. we're looking for people to give me a call or pop in. It's best to pop in. Best to pop in and meet you and uh, or yeah. meet your your staff and that, yeah. Yeah, and they can sit in on the on, on a, one of the classes. Yeah, see what see. it's all about. Yeah. So you, so you can check it out before you, you, you go and commit yourself. Absolutely, you know. Yeah. We've got nothing to hide. Come and have a look, come yeah. and have a chat. But, you know, do remember 1st of July is the next six-week course. 1st of July. Easy to remember. It's in a couple mm. of weeks' time, isn't it? It is, it is. Actually, it's less than that. Yeah, a week and a half. Yeah. Okay, so get down there. Um, now, what have you got for us today? You're going to teach us some uh, some Englishisms or what? Yes, I thought we'd have a bit of fun today because before we've had quite complplicated things like oxymoron oxymoron yeah I'm still trying to get my yeah. head around that word itself yeah it doesn't word sound moron. right you yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> don't you start calling me a moron right <laughs> <laughs> see, see she's at it straight away uh, so I thought today we'd, we'd lower the tone yeah and we'll we'll talk about some double entendres double entendres is it yes. double entendres or double entendres well it, it, it's a bit French that word isn't it but you know, there are many examples of the double entendre found in literature and in life uh, and even William Shakespeare oh really it's so I don't want anyone saying we're lowering it too much. No, no, no. We're, 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 we're full of culture. <laughs> culture. Absolutely. We have a lot of culture on this programme. And can that... I, yeah, go on. Can I help the Thai listener? The Thai listener, the double entendre is called Song Nghe. Song Ngam in Thai. There you go. There you go. Oh, wow, wow. See, you learn a lot from the, listening to this programme. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not from me. <laughs> <laughs> Live on 96FM Morning Glory.